Hey guys, it's Jessica, the Furry Family Coach, and I'm here to dispel a little myth that some of us believe um, that grain-free equals carb-free in pet food, and this, as you can see, is not true. I'm here to dispel a little myth that some of us believe um, that grain-free equals carb-free in pet food. And this, as you can see, is not true. So in this video, I'm just gonna discuss with you a little bit about um, grain-free and carb-free, and I'm gonna show you how to figure out how many carbs are in the kibble that you are feeding to your pet. Now, if you followed me for any length of time, you know that I don't recommend kibble. However, I understand that some people haven't figured out financially how they can feed a, a raw diet to their pet. And you know, it, it, it happens. Everybody is in a different point in their lives. Financially, things are going on. Any amount of fresh food you can add to kibble is going to make their kibble uh, better. It's gonna make their diet, their nutrition that much better. So even if you are feeding kibble, please add some fresh food to it. Um, so let's go ahead and get in. We're gonna get back into this grain-free and carb-free myth. <clears throat> um, and before I start, I am gonna be showing a bag of food. This happens to be cat food, and I wanna say I am not bashing this brand or this particular food in any way. In fact, if you are going to the store and picking out a kibble off of the shelf, this possibly could be con considered one of the better kibbles. So um, this, is, this is just the packaging we're gonna work with, and I wanna show you the nutrition label on this particular package, if you can see that. I know there's a little bit of a glare, um, but I'm gonna write it all down for you. And um, yeah, so of course I always recommend feeding a raw diet to your pets. However, for those of us who are still feeding kibble for whatever reason, I want to dispel the myth that grain-free is carb-free because that is not the case at all. So what is the case? Why do we care about grain-free and carb-free? I understand that some animals may have um, sensitivity to grains, and honestly, that is primarily because of the amount of grains that we're feeding them. Their bodies aren't designed to be able to handle it, so the sensitivity they have, um, you know, if you have an animal that does have a grain sensitivity and you are feeding grain-free food, understand that you are still feeding a lot of carbs to your pet. Now, why do we care about that? Why do we care about the amount of carbs that we're feeding to our pet? The fact is that carbs and sugars feed cancer cells. And you can, I just went to three different places. I, well, I've, I've, I've read many, many different studies about this. However, there, you can find them anywhere. Science Journal, Nutritional, um, Cancer Journal. And as far back as, you know, in the 50s, we've known this. Um, so the fact is that carbs and sugars feed cancer cells. That's why it is so important that we understand that grain-free does not mean carb-free. So let's go back to this package of um, kibble. Now, like I said, if you are feeding kibble, please try to pick a kibble that First off is not high heat processed because that's where the carcinogens are coming from to begin with is the high heat processing that happens in kibble. And this this is a high heat processed kibble. Um, so it's not gonna be the best thing you can buy for your pets. Low heat or dry, a drying process for kibble is, is rare to come by. However, there are some brands that are starting to emerge and I highly encourage you to look for them if you are feeding kibble. So so that's, that's the first problem is that they're high heat processed and that's what is causing 
um, the carcinogens to be in the food to begin with, to be in the kibble to begin with. Now, you're feeding a food that if it is high heat processed, so we know for a fact, science has proven that high heat processing in kibbles and in dry foods, high heat processing produces two carcinogens, two known carcinogens. So there are carcinogens in high heat processed kibble. Now, when we're feeding lots of carbs on top of that, we're fueling those cancer cells. So, and like I said, if you are feeding kibble and you are concerned about the, the carbs, this one has a fairly low amount of carbs. There are out, some out there that have really, really high amounts of carbohydrates in them, 40, 50 plus percentage. But I'm gonna show you how to figure out, when you take a look at this, guaranteed analysis label. I don't know if you can see that, but I, I have it written down as well. So here's how we're gonna figure out how many carbs are in this package of kibble. So you're, you can use this formula on any package of kibble that you pick up in the store to buy. And I highly encourage you to do this. So this particular bag, and again, I'm not knocking this bet, this particular brand of kibble or anything like that. I'm just showing you how to figure it out. So this particular bag of Instinct kibble has 43% protein, 19.5% fat, 9% moisture, and if they don't list the ash, because a lot of them don't list the ash, we're gonna assume 6%. So 6% ash. So for <laughs> That's what happens when you do a live video. <laughs> the mailman comes. Thank you, Kimberly. Come here, baby. Can we finish our video? Thank you, good girl. Okay. That's what happens on live, sorry guys. Okay, 43% protein, 19.5% fat, 9% moisture. We're gonna assume a 6% ash because it is not listed on the packaging. So we've got 77.5%, that's, that, that's what that totals to. We're gonna subtract 100%. We've got 22.5% carbohydrates in this bag. So again, there are bags of kibble out there that have way more carbohydrates than this particular bag does. I've seen them um, 40, 50 plus percent carbohydrates. So this is probably one of the lower ones you can get. We have a high protein count in this one, which is advisable. Definitely look for the highest protein count you can, unless you have a pet who needs a lower protein, um, a lower percentage of protein in their diet and your veterinarian will let you know if your pet has a disease or a condition uh, where they need a lower protein amount. However, you can see this is how you figure it out. You take the protein, fat, moisture, and ash, you add them together, subtract 100, and then you get your total carb count. So guys, I know this was kind of a short video, but I hope it was very informational. I hope it helps you. If you have any questions, please comment below. Um, please like this video and share it so your friends and family can see it too. I hope you learned something. That's how you figure out the carbs. That's why you need to know how many carbs are in the kibble that you're feeding. And with that, I'll see you in another video.